mathematics to GL assessment, you may find some of the questions difficult. Work as quickly and as carefully as you can. Questions one to four. How many 10p coins can I get from one pound 80? One pound 80, you change it to pence, you multiply by 100 pence. And when you multiply by 100, you move the decimal place two places in front to the right, it becomes 180 pence. You want to divide 180 pence divided by 10 pence. You cross out the zero and you get 18. So you can get 18 coins. Question number two, this bar chart shows during which months the children in a class have their birthdays. During which month are they most birthdays? So you want to go to the bar chart and find out how many birthdays in January. So you read the graph, there's four birthdays in January. In March, there's one. April, there's five. May, two. June, two, and so on. During which month are they most birthdays? And you will see that July has got six birthdays, which is most. So the word there is most. There's more, six birthdays in July. Question number three. Change the order of the figure 6085 to make the biggest numbers possible. To get the biggest number, always arrange from the biggest number to the smallest number. So you get 8650. It goes biggest, next biggest, and then 50. Question four. The time in New York is five hours behind the time in London. In London, it is 9 a.m. What time is it in New York? So you go from 9 a.m., you want to go five hours behind. So 9 a.m. minus five hours, it will give you, it will be 4 a.m. in the morning. These are questions five to question seven. Question five, what are the coordinates of A? The point A is two, one, and you go two to the right and one up. So along the corridor, up the stairs. So the coordinates is two, one. Question six, write this number in figures, 8,025. 8,025, so the answer is D. Question seven, share 240 into four equal parts. It's 240 divided by four. I've done it below there. So the way I write it is 240 at the top and four in the denominator. Because they are even numbers, I have to break it down to make it smaller numbers before I divide. So half of 240 is 120, half of four, is two, because it's even numbers again, half of 120 is 60 and half of two is one. So 60 divided by one is 60. So the answer is 60. So that stops you from trying to do long division. Questions number eight, nine and 10. What fraction of this circle is shaded? So what I have done is divided the circle into the same size sectors. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight in total. And how many are shaded? One, so it's one out of eight. So a fraction is to look at it as part divided by whole. The whole is eight and the part is one. You're shading one out of eight. Question number nine, in the number 836, what does the three stands for? I put a place value chart there. You wouldn't have this type of chart in an exam, but if you put eight, eight goes under the hundreds, three goes in the tens and six goes in the ones. So what does the three represent? The three is the tens. So it's three tens. Always think of this chart and put the numbers in the correct places. So three goes there and that's three times. Question number 10, what number would go in the box? This is the way to look at it. If you look at the numerator, 
we want to go from three to a certain number and we go we want to go from four to eight what num what do we do to go from four to eight or oh, how do we go from eight to four so what you can do is eight four times two will give you eight so you do the same at the top it times two at the denominator and times two at the top three times two will give you six how did we get two we can do eight divided by four it gives you the two questions number 11 12 and 13. question number 11 Saturday costs how many children visit the school library each day this is the bar chart Sati draws to show the data. How many children visit the library over the five days? Very important to go into the bar chart and start to look at the numbers for each day. So this is what we're going to do. On Monday, there were 13. On Tuesday, 10. You look at it carefully and draw a straight line if possible. On Wednesday, 16 on thursday 5 on friday 11. so if you add all of them 13 plus 10 plus 16 plus 5 plus 11. the way i add it is i do the first two 13 plus 10 it gives me 23 and i do 16 plus 5 it gives me 21. now i do 23 plus 21 it gives me 44 and then 44 plus 11 it gives me 55. 4 plus 1 is 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. Question number 12. Three pieces of wood are cut from a plank one meter long. Each piece is 30 centimeters long. We want to change one meter to centimeters. One meter is 100 centimeters. That's something you need to remember. So there's each piece is 30 centimeters long. And how many pieces are there? Three. So three times 30 is 90. So 100 minus 90 will give you 10. So there's 10 centimeters left. Question 13, what is the sum of the interior angles of this triangle? All triangles, the angles add up to 180. So all the three angles add up to 180 for all triangles. Just like for a straight line, the angle on a straight line adds up is 180 degrees. All triangles, the three angles will add up to 180. So your answer is C. 180 degrees. Questions number 14, 15, 16, and 17. For question number 14, we're going to use bit mass. So we want to do the brackets first. The B is for brackets, do the brackets first. So three plus six is nine. And then after that, 27 divided by nine, it gives you three. So your answer is three. Always start with the brackets first. Question 15, what is the next number in this sequence? From 49 to 43, you minus six. From 43 to 40, 37, you minus six. And from 37 to 31, you minus six. So you minus six from 31. 31 minus six will give you 25. So your answer is C. Question number 16, the thermometer shows the temperature in Kiev. London is 18 degrees warmer. What is the temperature in London? So you look at the thermometer, you want to read the scale. What number is there? That's minus three. So London is 18 degrees warmer. So minus three plus 18 is 15 degrees. You can swap them around. It's the same as 18 minus three, which is 15 degrees. Number 17, 324 divided by six. Because it's an even number and it's an even number, I want to simplify it first before do any long division. So I do what's half of 324 is 162. Half of six is three. And then now I can do long division with smaller numbers. 162 divided by three. Three cannot go into one, so you put a zero. You go to the six, it becomes 16. How many three goes into 16? Five. Five times three is 15. 16 take away 15 is one. So it's 15 and then remainder one. You bring down the two, 12. How many three goes into 12? Four. 
four times three is 12, 12 minus 12 is zero. So your answer is 54. Questions number 18, 19, and 20. Question number 18, look at these bottles. One liter, 500 milliliters, 250 milliliters, 100 milliliters. How many times would you have to fill the 250 milliliters bottle to make the one liter bottle? So the 250 milliliter, put it in pink, and the one liter, milliliter, one liter bottle in green. So one liter is 1,000 milliliters. Have to remember that. So we want to see how many of these will fit in there. How many of them? So we do 1,000 divided by 250. And the way you do it, you write 1,000 in the numerator, 250 in the denominator. The zeros will cancel, so you end up with 100 divided by 25, which is four. Or you can keep simplifying. How many fives go into 100? 20. How many fives go into 25? Five. And 20, 20 divided by five is four. So it's four times. Question 19. There were 24 marbles in the back. I took out one third of the marbles. How many marbles did I take out? One third of means one third times 24. The off means times. So the same as 24 times one divided by three, which is eight. So D is the answer, eight. Question 20. Karen wants to buy a guitar. She has saved 43 pounds 95. The guitar costs 65 pounds. How much more money does she need? You're subtracting 65 pounds minus 43 pound 95. Make sure you put the numbers in a straight line. That's where students get problems with. This has to be all in a straight line and it'll be easier to do then. Zero minus five, it cannot go. So you cannot borrow from there. So you borrow from here, it comes here. This becomes 10. You borrow from here, this becomes nine and this becomes 10. 10 minus five is five, nine minus nine is zero. Now this is now four, four minus three is one, six minus four is two. So it's 21 pounds and five pence. 